Jean Gascon uh, has meant a lot to English Canadian theatre and he's gone and we can't speak to him. So I want to speak to Jean through you. Tell us a bit about Jean. First, Jean was a great friend. We attended Le Collège Sainte Marie together. He was one year older in the curriculum that I was. But we started playing together when we were at Le Collège Sainte Marie and we became very good friends. Uh, and Jean had a way of being there. And when he was there, he was the only one present. He eclipsed everybody around him. That was, that was one of his strengths and one of his faults as well. But there he was. And for example, the way I imagined it when we founded Le Théâtre du Nouveau Monde was that we were to run the company together. And he said, no, I am the boss. And I, I think he was right. And I had to accept it and to live with it. And I don't say that I was always uh, agreeing with, was, uh, with what he, he was doing. But I accepted it. He was full of energy, an incredible energy. Uh, and he was the boss. And he was running the goddamn thing. And how did he do at Stratford? Because he ran Stratford for a number of years as well. I don't know because I wasn't here. So, uh, but I, I think it was about the same. Although I think that in Stratford, that wasn't as big as it is uh, presently, but you have to take advice. Mm -hmm. You have to listen to people. And you have to come up with your own decision. But I think that when he was running Le Théâtre du Nouveau Monde, he wasn't listening to other, listening to other people. And, and that, that's, not, that, that's not a reproach. That's how he managed. That's how he behaved. He was listening to Jean Gascon, that's all. And were his strengths uh, classical theatre or contemporary theatre or what were his strengths as an artist? The great strength was in comedy, in my opinion. Like uh, Le Bourgeois Gentilhomme or Le Tartuffe. This is high comedy, of course, but the, still it, it, it is comedy. I think he was... Uh, well, I don't know if I'm right when I'm saying that because I'm, I'm now thinking of plays like uh, uh, Venise Sauvé, Venice Preserved, that is definitely a drama, and he staged it and he, he played the doge in it and he was marvelous. I saw him in the Strindberg of the Father yeah. here in Stratford, and I was very small, but even then he was a large, brooding, yeah. powerful presence. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, was it not a Dance of Death, rather? It was a Dance of Death, yeah. I'm sorry, yeah. you're right. Yeah. Yeah. He was marvelous. Yeah. Strong. Yeah. Present. Yeah. Yeah. But then you had to see him in cameos. In, uh, I always remember in uh, Fado's Le Dindon, the way he played the small part, the servant, the serviteur to the, the main male character. And he was so funny. I remember him in one of Molière's farces, La Jalousie du Barbouillet. He was completely disarticulated. You know, he was walk walking on stage and his, uh, his uh, legs uh, gave up on, 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 under him. It, it was ma marvelous to look at, to, to see it. Merci, monsieur. Merci. Un grand plaisir pour moi. Merci. Ça m'a fait grand plaisir. <laughs>